Kapo Hawaiian FM 100.3, 99.1, and online at kaparadio.com. Such a great honor today. We've interviewed many, many artists, musicians, and people in the music industry right here in Hawaii. And for the first time ever in Kapa history, Jazz and I have the opportunity to speak to an amazing group of young men that are taking Hawaii and soon the world by storm. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Crossing Rain. Aloha kakahiaka, guys. So good to see you all. Now, you guys, this, you guys are a little bit too young for this, but <laughs> the reason why Ka'e and I are excited is because we come from the era of when boy bands were invented, and they oh. no longer have boy bands. So thank God for K-pop, who have kind of reignited the uh, kind of the boy band scene, and thus bringing a group like you to the forefront. And this is probably... Uh, maybe not since the, uh, whatever they call the next generation or the new generation, not mm -hmm. since them have we had a boy band come out of Hawaii. So let's Correct. go ahead and introduce the six talented brothers we have. With us. Okay, so this, these are the members of Crossing Rain. I'm going to ask you folks to just raise your hand and what school you grad from or if you're currently attending. We have Evan Harutoshi Doria, other, uh, otherwise known as Haru. Where you are? Where are you at? Haru, Haru there you are. Am I saying it right? Am I saying it Haru? Yes, how do you Okay, correct? okay, awesome. And tell us what school you grad from. I graduated from James Campbell High School in Eva Beach. Awesome. We have Ohana in Eva Beach. Next, we have Wyatt Kiola Dean Kaneshiro, also known as Monarch. Where are you at? There oh. you are. What school you grad? I graduated from Kaiser High School. Awesome. Very nice. Then we have Jordan Kialoha Yamanaka, or J for short, Mr. Jordan. And what school you grad, Jordan? Uh, Kamehameha Schools of Hawaii Campus. Awesome. So good to see you, son. And then we have Asher Morgado. Where's Asher? Okay. Hey, Asher. Asher, what school you grad from? Um, I'm actually homeschooled. <laughs> so you yeah. still... Asher, you still in school? <laughs> yeah. Good boy. Okay, awesome. Awesome, Asher. Then we have Shotaro Takasawa. Where's uh, Shotaro? Hey, so Shotaro, you are from Japan, huh? Yes, I am from Japan. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm so excited that you're here today. Then we have Devin Teruya from De Devin. What, where are you at, Devin? Devin, there you are. Hey, Devin, what school did you grad from? I graduated from IAA High School. Awesome. 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 I'm going to take it back to you, Jazz. Well, what is it? You know, let's, let's start from the beginning. How did this come to be with all of you getting to audition for this band? Our uh, CEO was... I always had a dream about creating a, a boy group and creating groups to go worldwide and entertain and inspire hope and love and aloha throughout the world. And so we were all scouted or, or she reached out to us, you know, over Instagram or through a friend of a friend or, or any other form um, to ask us to send in like an audition tape to be a part of this. So we didn't really know each other before Crossing Rain. Um, you know, we just might have seen each other maybe at dance studios or competitions or, um, you know, at, at music shows or any, anything like that. But we never really connected on this kind of level or as, as brothers like we are now until now. So you guys are like 24-7. Now, since this venture began, you guys have been together 24-7. Was it six months, seven months now? I'm um, there, yeah. yeah. It's like halal when you're getting ready for Mary Monarch. Yep. You got to live together, eat together. You have, you know, each other back in front. Now um, I'm going to go back to um, Haru. You know, it says here, you are, you, uh, many of you actually have some dancing experience. Tell us a little bit about when you started dancing. Yeah, I started dancing back in 2016. I joined the studio called Studio 808 Dance Project based out of Waipahu. From then on, I flourished my love of dance and trained and trained and trained. Now, Asher also is a dancer. Asher, tell us where you, uh, who you dance for. I've been around the studios, but my home studio is 24-7, and they're amazing. Awesome. That's so cool. Now, Devin, you're also dancing, too. You're also part of another group or studio? Uh, yeah, I was actually part of the same studio as Haru, Studio 808. That's where I started doing my dance career, too. Yeah. And then we have um, Shotaro. Shotaro. Um, now you also have been, uh, you are one of the youngest members. So do you, have you had dance experience or is this your first time? 
Yes, I have for three years, I think. And I've been at Studio HDS, HDS at War. So yeah, I've been awesome. At- yeah. Okay. So, and the, for the, the two uh, in the front there, um, you guys too. Um, what about dance? Is it hula? Is it, what is it? <laughs> Are you guys dancers as well? Um, I never had any training in dancing. Most dancing I got is hula, of course, and um, dancing in high school for for theater. For so theater. Everybody is from Oahu, uh, except for but from Japan and then Jordan. Jordan, how did um, they find you on Hawaii Island? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Our CEO contacted me through email one day and uh, told, uh, told me about the project through Zoom. Uh, I guess she found me watching videos and going on social media. Uh, so I'm thankful that I had some stuff out on Instagram and, and YouTube and stuff for her to watch and, and scout yeah. me and find me. Yeah, social media is like our um, resume nowadays. <laughs> Right, right. De- Devin, do you think that's true? Do you think social media is is the new way? Definitely, yeah. That's actually how I was discovered too. Through all my like YouTube videos of me singing and dancing. And Monarch, how about you? You too? Social media? No, actually, <laughs> I was discovered by our CEO's best friend. Um, I just happened to make friends with um, his son, and so we were hanging out one day, and then my music just kind of came up, and then he was kind enough to connect me. So it was an opportunity that fell in my lap, but it's beautiful and I'm so grateful for it. So I have a real quick question for you. What is your choice of genre of music? Personally, my favorite genre of music is hip hop and rap. Awesome, awesome. As I mentioned earlier, you know, the boy band kind of thing was a a thing in the 90s. Have you guys watched, um, you know, like, any video like 98 degrees new edition you know backstreet boys have you guys watched any of that to get any inspiration for your act now or is are you guys kind of following of what like guys like bts and and you know uh monster x are doing yeah yeah Mm -hmm. sorry i don't know all of their names (laughs) uh we're actually modeled a lot um over the k-pop style Mm -hmm. Uh, so bts is a big um study image or um, group that we we study and we take inspiration from uh, and we, we love bts and they're doing it so well have you guys ever heard of any of the names i mentioned yes, yes. okay thank you thank you <laughs> from boys to men ah there you go there you go now you know one thing that's really interesting when i was watching your video when you folks um had the the first debut the one thing that i really appreciate is that although there is inspiration from those groups that you folks just recently mentioned you folks have a really cool local flair there's a very you can tell you guys are from hawaii and there's there's a different swag and i say that with love because local boys or you know if you're from hawaii you can tell and and it's a very cool classy but you can fun way that you folks are displaying and sharing your dance moves and um your person your individual characters um or characteristics what has that been like um and and we'll go with let's see here haru what is that how do what has that been like having to um i guess you know as a dancer um getting your groove on and yet you know having to be in in, in sync with your brothers and not try to be you know too over the top. It's definitely been a, a big learning curve for all of us, seeing as we only got together like seven months ago. But as we continue to train every single day, working together, sometimes arguing and getting into disagreements, we continue to push and continue to build our bond together. And that really helps keep us in sync. Shotaro, what is it like work ethic wise? Cause you know, like uh, Jordan, like you're a musician, you know, and we know you got to rehearse, you got to play, you got to learn the songs, but there has to be a different grind to learn those dance steps and to be able to sing. And uh, uh, tell us, like, what's that like? What that work ethic is like? Well, one thing is that, well, first, you need to work hard and hard and push yourself to get better and better and then reach your goals. So for me, 
um, singing is my um, weakness, so I'm trying my best and singing. So my Jord um, Jordan is my role model for me for singing. Aww, you see Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, are there moments in the act where you like break off and get on an instrument or, or, or do any of you play instruments other than Jordan? Because we know Jordan like plays a bunch of stuff. Uh, is Do you guys uh, add that to the show at all? No. Not <laughs> They're showcasing their dance moves. No, I know, but you know, like sometimes when <laughs> sometimes when somebody plays in the band, they have that person. I can see Jordan coming out with the, uh, with the guitar in the front. Maybe that's for the that's you. Speaking of which, maybe that's going to be on tour. Speaking of tour, um, tell us a little bit about um what's what's happening because I know tickets are on sale today. Uh, for what's happening, you guys are kicking off some action in Hawaii. Tell us about that. Uh, tickets go on sale today for our November show that we have uh, at the Hawaii Theater on November 20th. Uh, as far as our tour, our tour kicks off at the Blaisdell in February. Uh, and then we tour the West Coast uh, throughout the beginning of 2022. So, Do you um, know if during those tours, you're going to be doing like a bus trip? Like, are you going to no. be, you know what I mean? I think we'll be flying. Uh, we'll be flying in and out of our our location. And we can also, but people are gonna follow. I mean, people wanna um, definitely those that are listening and watching today. Um, again, this is crossing rain, and we're so excited. But people are gonna wanna watch and follow, and um, you know, the, like we talk about the new resume uh, with social media. Um, will that you guys, I'm sure, are going to be active via that way for those of us that can't attend your your tours but can follow along the way your journey? Yeah, we all have um, personal Instagram accounts at XR underscore our names. Um, and we also have our official uh, group Instagram at Crossing Rain. And we also have an app that uh, our fans can download um, on the App Store, Crossing Rain, where we post exclusive content, uh, nice pictures, videos. We have live streams and also our merch store on there as well. And we also have a website that you can visit as well. And it has like some little sneak peeks of our upcoming music. Wow, an app. You guys get your own app. Sorry. That's fancy. Yeah, I wanted to ask too, do you guys, you know, aside from all the lessons when, uh, of dance lessons and all the work that you have to do, are there like swag classes? Because like when you watch uh, a lot of the, the bands, right, they always did like the camera comes by and they do the... <laughs> do you guys get taught those type of things like how to you know caress the camera how, you know things like that now nah, you're just born with it oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah good answer good answer good answer good answer i love it i love it you know we want to, um, we also want, speaking of the app and following and the photos and the live streams, um, we just want to honor the fact that you folks are all, all from Hawaii um, and uh, representing Hawaii. Now, when, Monarch, when you opened up the, uh, our conversation today, you mentioned um, this group and the foundation in which you folks are, are built. Can you tell me a little bit, just expand a little bit more on, on that, because I think that's what is going to set your journey. Sure, yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Um, I mean, it, that also comes down to our name, Crossing Rain, I believe. Um, the crossing portion of our name is uh, represents us, you know, traveling and, and crossing over to different places and different people um, to share our love and aloha and uh, our spirit. And the rain part, um, you know, in Hawaiian culture, Rain is a blessing, and it, you know, the rain is how we eat it and drink and, and everything. So, um, that that we want to share that blessing with with the world when, when we cross to different countries, different places, and different peoples. And so, I think that uh, crossing rain, being from Hawaii, is really unique because of you know the way we are raised, um, being on this island, and so yeah, we're just we're super excited and feel super blessed to have this amazing opportunity you're you're the swag dude in the band aren't you <laughs> right 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 at the end of the video you hem all shirt right? <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, oh, one, of the, so one of the things I wanted to share is I got to uh, talk to uh, Kenny the other day before getting to talk to you guys. And one of the things that she shared that I was, uh, I was really happy about was that uh, many of you were not just picked for your talents, but you were picked by your, your ethic, your morals. And, you know, she said, basically, these guys are all good boys. You know, you got to, you know, in order to make a, a, a band successful, you can't just have six, you know, individual stars. You got to have everybody that's for the team. And she said that the six people picked for this group are the team, the, 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 the people that could get together cohesively and that are all morally, you know, pono, which was awesome to hear. Yeah. Otherwise they would find a better dancer than me. <laughs> uh, nah. <laughs> You know, you know what I think I, I appreciate is what is one of, and this is open to any of you to answer. What is one of the, um, you know, we talk about our strengths and weaknesses and you guys are so awesome and candid about that because you are a group. What are some of the, the things or funny moments, whether you couldn't get a dance move or you didn't hit that note that, that you've experienced thus far? And we could just, everybody just name one thing. I'll go first, actually. I have a moment from yesterday. <laughs> um, so yesterday we were running over our choreography for our show and getting some feedback from some of our dance um, instructors. And uh, we had some guest instructors coming in that day. And Asher, <laughs> Asher is a true performer because he just asked us like in the beginning of practice, should I do it or should I not? But he didn't tell us what he was gonna do. And so we're just <laughs> like, do it. And so then we started our performance and he did like a front flip and he landed on his back like on purpose. And made like a loud like smack, and we were not expecting it. <laughs> and it was a it was a, a great moment. Awesome! It was I haven't done it for two years because of quarantine, and yeah, so I it was so I was like feeling the ground before I I did. I was like this, okay. <laughs> kind of bouncy. I asked Devin, yeah, should I do it? And he's like, just and I, I just said yes or no, and then he said. Yes. And I did it. I was so shook. And I didn't feel no pain, though. So that was <laughs> Sick. How about you, Jordan? I always, I, I always, I learned choreography uh, slower than the rest of you. <laughs> um, uh, so it takes me a little, a little longer to uh, get down the moves, but uh, I'm working at it. Uh, yesterday, <laughs> last night, I was, we, la we ran over, I think, our last number of the show. And oh boy. <laughs> uh, I'm the answer. <laughs> Somebody's foot. So that yeah. Need to people. Yeah. What's called holding the wrong way? <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, to yesterday, yesterday, um, we had a re rehearsal and I wasn't ready at all, putting my mind <laughs> on and everything. And they said, ready. So I just. I was dancing and then putting them on and on. So I was like dancing and then I'm like, well, I'm <laughs> but that's a professional, that's right? You just show gotta go on. Professional. Um, for me, a difficult moment was when I was trying to choreograph one of our songs. I feel like I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I wasn't. I was never truly really happy with what I came up with. But then I just kind of realized, like, just let it go. And then once I did that, everything started to flow out, and then. Everyone seemed to really like it, so I was really proud of that. I mean, awesome. For me, uh, sometimes I struggle with my harmonies and singing on pitch. All of us kind of know that. And yesterday, <laughs> we were mics, and we were singing through one of our songs, Water. And I was going through the song, and I look over at Jordan, and he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> So I check my water and I get back on pitch, get back on pitch. I love it. I love it. And you know, you guys, that's exactly what's going to take you to the next level. Being able to acknowledge where you're at and where you're, where you're going to be. Um, Jazz, any other closing thoughts? Well, we want to remind everybody. So the tickets are all, all available. They're available as we speak for the show on November 20th at the Hawaii Theater in Honolulu. Doors open up at seven o'clock. Do not miss that one there. Um, please, you guys, share where everybody can find you on social media. Yeah, so you can follow all of us on Instagram at Crossing Rain, or we all, also our personal Instagrams, um, which would be at XR underscore, and then our names, Monarch, Asher, Jay, or Jordan. Is it Jordan? Yeah, Jordan. Yeah, XR underscore Jordan. 
and um, Shotaro, Devin, and Haru. And also, um, the best way to connect with us is on our app. Uh, it's, it's available on Android and the App Store. And that's the best way to keep up to date with our, um, our shows, our locations, and you can purchase tickets there, as well as buy merchandise and uh, just stay up to date with us. You know, we post all of our updates there, pictures, videos. And if you join our pre uh, premium fan club, then you also get exclusive content. Uh, we have vlogs and, and whatnot on there as well. And so we're super excited. Awesome. Uh, since the, the sh our show is on Hawaii Island, I wanted to give Jordan an uh, opportunity to uh, send some shots out because, you know, people thought you, like, ran away from home for, like, six months, boo. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd like to apologize to my home. <laughs> everybody that I knew there, especially my family. Uh, but they're all supportive. I, I feel all the love and support from Hawaii Island. Uh, and thanks to you guys for having us on the show as well. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. It's, yeah. it's a blessing to be able to talk back to my home after getting up and disappearing for six months. Uh, we, I need Hawaii support, Hawaii Island support, and, and Hawaii Island's backing. I need uh, Hawaii Island to sign up for our premium fan club. Uh, so we can get out to the West Coast and the East Coast and Asia. And uh, um, thank you to the Big Island for always teaching me and supporting me and loving me. I always remember who I am and where I come from. Awesome. Right on. Right on. All right. Okay. So Auntie has one more thing. <clears throat> all right. So in closing, okay, this is the test of all tests of performers. You guys ready? You guys ready? Okay. When I count to three. When I count to three, I want you to strike a pose. Okay, <laughs> your I want you to strike a pose. You can stand. You can just no hitting, no biting, no punching. One, two, three. Damn! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. We love you so much and we'll be in touch. Thank you, guys. Hello. Hello. Hello.